skeptical of. What will certainly attract people is tourism. No question about it. I would give up years of vacation time and money to go on one trip to Mars. This is portrayed for the moon, but Mar either. Tourism cannot be under-recognized as an economic driving force. You don't want it to be a military reason, and kings are not going to do it anymore, so it's got to be economic. But if you want to go and not live in a HAB module, which is Earth on the moon, or Earth on Mars, if you want to actually be on another planet, you're going to have to terraform. My favorite word of the last 20 years. Turn Mars into Earth. Seed the soils, the atmosphere. Introduce microbes that, that um, release oxygen, such as what happened in the early Earth. Now, we, we don't have this power yet. If we did, we could just make any planet we want and just move there. Then you don't have to come back because you can breathe the air when you get there. Columbus could breathe. People are saying, oh, this is like the era of the great explorers. No, it's not. Columbus could breathe the air when he got off his ship. He could fix his ship because the trees in the New World were made out of wood just as they were in Europe. On Mars, you can't do that. So I, I'm thinking if we're going to colonize and, be, and do something other than live in a habitat module, you'll want to do this. There are people say we need to be a two-planet species in case an asteroid comes and renders us extinct, as it did with the dinosaurs. My, and Stephen Hawking feels strongly about this. I have a rebuttal to that. It's whatever effort it takes to terraform Mars and ship a billion people there, it's probably less effort to deflect the asteroid. I'm thinking. A little less effort. So for me, I care about practical solutions that people will actually enact, rather than the dream states that concern people most when they're thinking on the frontier. The same with AI. People are worried we're going to make a robot that's going to sort of take over the world. No, we're going to create AI that like, serves our various needs. The self-driving car is not going to be tasked with making your coffee or with flying the airplane. This very tuned AI that we have plenty of places for that to go in our society. In practice, who's going to make the one thing that does everything? when you can make a hundred things that do each thing perfectly. I think in practice it's not going to happen, even though it occupies the fear of so many people. What you want to do is reduce the cost to space, no matter what. 